Okay, Tracy, uh, what are your thoughts on this whole kangaroo cull? Look, my concern has been basically as an elected councillor, I was not party to the decision, so I wasn't part of the discussions, part of trying to manage the situation, and I have really no information on what has been done to try and um, provide for race safety and also for the safety of our native fauna. So I'm in a very difficult position as a councillor because council staff took it on board as an internal management issue and didn't make the councillors privy to their, their decision to cull the kangaroos. Um, and I'm very concerned for um, obviously the, the huge outcry there's been about the, the killing of the kangaroos. I can't account for whether it was done, how it was done, whether it was necessary because I haven't been privy to the information and I'm still demanding that um, the staff are accountable to us as the elected representatives. Um, and I think it would have been very different had there been a consultation um, with both the elected representatives and the fauna management people in the region of how to deal with this issue. So I think it's been a bit of a disaster for the council. Do you, do you think um, there's ever a good reason to cull animals, cull kangaroos? Look, from the advice I've had from the fauna experts, you know, it's kind of the last tool that they res resort to. There are other measures that they would try to um, introduce to manage kangaroos, you know, other than a direct cull. I mean, I think we've seen that in other situations around the country, like in Canberra, where they've had um, increasing numbers coming in, probably from the drier western regions into the, the more the, the regions with more feed. And there's been a build-up that um, it is impossible to move them. Um, it's impossible, you know, but. Um, there has to be a, a real accounting of how many are in a re an area, whether they're a threat to themselves, to the to the native um, vegetation, whether they're sustainable. You know, all of that's really beyond my expertise, and is better managed and determined by the, the fauna managers that we have in the community. And um, just just in terms of PR for Bathurst, I guess. Um, uh, I mean, all around the world, people identify Australia with kangaroos. Um, how do you think this is going to go down internationally? Oh, look, I've had um, endless emails from over, overseas from people concerned with wildlife who see kangaroos as a the Australian symbol and b you know amazing um, creatures and furry creatures at that. And there's a, a huge. Um, cry against any kind of killing or brutality towards towards creatures from around the world and I think we need to be very sensitive to that and aware of that um, in terms of trying to manage um, the best for them in their populations um, and the least cruel method of, of helping you know a difficult situation when there does seem to be increasing numbers coming in from increasing dryness out west.